oh my god we're going into the deep end with this one have you ever had a problem or fallen out with another influencer's page do you buy clothes and shoot then send them back so we are back with a part two of answering your questions that you are too scared to ask instagrammers so let me just get onto my archive because this is absolutely ages ago that i asked these questions and i have absolutely forgot already right so first question let's start with how much do you spend on clothes to create content i don't really want to think about this because most of my wage goes on clothing which is actually really sad and i could be using it for something more productive but i love clothes i love the way that they make me feel i love keeping up with trends so i don't really mind oh i like this one so what is your pay based on from instagram on engagement or likes etc so i don't really know how it works if you just have an instagram and you get paid i think you've got to have a manager to be able to do that like i know the kardashians and like love island people they get paid per post but it doesn't really work like that for influencers it doesn't work like that in my case at all so my pay is based on affiliate links and if you guys buy the things that i'm promoting to you also if i have any brand deals they might pay me for x amount of posts so that's how my pay is based do you think platforms like instagram and youtube owe people a career it if they make money from it um not particularly like to be fair they're both free platforms if you can make money from it i think it's quite a smart move but it doesn't owe anyone anything if you've got 2 million subscribers good for you you've worked hard to get that i'm guessing if you've got 2,000 subscribers they don't owe you to get pushed on the platform if that makes sense like you should build up your own engagement how easy is it slash how do you get pr packages can anyone do it well now that i've got quite a few more followers it is a lot easier like brands will just get in contact with me but when i was a smaller account with like under 10,000 followers I would target the brands that I wanted stuff from and I would send them like an email like oh I'd love to blah 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 and I would also engage organically with their posts and they might hopefully see me. To be fair, like when they send PR packages, they're sending it to get the exposure. Like to put it really simply, they wouldn't send someone something if no one was gonna see it, if that makes sense. So yeah, obviously the more followers that you have, the more likely that their products is gonna get seen. So the more likely that they'll send it to you. Do you actually make money from Instagram? Yes, I do. Like I said, I make it through affiliate links or swipe up links and yeah, also through brand deals. Do you feel pressure to post even when you're unwell slash not feeling it yes all the bloody time i struggle quite a bit with my mental health and i really struggle a lot because when your brand is you you can't really hide from what you're actually feeling do you always need to say it's an ad when it's a sponsored post are there ways around it yes you have to say it's an ad basically the asa have loads of different guidelines on different ads like whether you've been gifted a product if you've been paid for a product if you've been asked to share it so there are loads of different rules and regulations that you have to abide by otherwise you're going to get into a lot of trouble with the asa which is like the advertising standards authority so you need to make sure you declare it and do it very very clearly at the front of your caption front because i know a lot of influencers are very sneaky and put it at the end but you need to make sure that your followers know that it's an ad from the get-go so always 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 put it at the beginning what's your number one tip for getting followers to engage i think it's definitely to ask them what they like because obviously some stuff works better than others like like for example my baking videos don't get a lot of engagement compared to my fashion stuff because i know you guys are there for fashion but at the end of the day i'm making my feed for me i'm making my brand if you don't like what you're seeing then you don't have to engage but it is very helpful when you do engage when did you feel like you had enough of a following to be part of campaigns same with the pr products and gifting to be fair like brands will not get in contact with you if they don't think that you have the right followers for their target or if you don't have enough if that makes sense it's not really our decision if we can work with brands or not like they'll either say yes or no it's not a gray area they will say yes or they will say no how many hours a week do you put into instagram seems like so much work it is so much work especially because it's all the time is being a full-time instagrammer slash youtuber a goal for your future mm, i wouldn't say so like it is quite lonely when the only person that you've got to focus on is you but i guess there is some way that i could do it but not right now i don't think that it will be a goal for my future how much money do you roughly make from instagram in a month so let's go over to my reward style so basically reward style is what i use for all of my swipe up links basically i make a teeny tiny bit of commission probably only one or two pounds every time you buy something on one of my swipe up links so in the last seven days i've earned 128 pounds 68 which is let me do some quick math 
if I could find the bloody calculator. So I've roughly earned about £512 from affiliate links, which is just where you guys buy the clothes. Do many people use your swipe up slash affiliate link? I prefer to use the store's app to buy. That is absolutely fine. So within the last week, I have had 1,379 clicks. This is what the page looks like. It just literally breaks it down into days and what people have bought and how much they have spent. So to be fair, this is quite a good week for me. I think this is still from my ASOS haul video because I know that ASOS have a deal on at the moment when you spend a certain amount of money you get a certain amount of money off yeah it does help us a lot a lot if you use our swipe up links because obviously it really depends what engine you use like for reward style it doesn't link directly to the brands but with stuff like Awin it links directly to the brands and the brands can see their top performers per month so if you do find something that you really like an influencer it is really 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 helpful that you buy it through their link because even though it doesn't affect your purchase it really really helps influencers get noticed by the brands that they're working with. Do you usually wear the outfits you post or are they sometimes just for a photo? I wear all of the outfits that I post. Most of them I wear day to day, like going to work or whatever. But the ones that I don't wear, I usually sell on for Depop or my sister wears. So the clothes are getting use out of them either way. Have you ever done free work for a brand in the hope that they will collab with you in the future? I guess you mean like gifting, which is yeah. It is very, very common to do gifting stuff with brands more so than paid because brands like to see gifting as payment, which it is absolutely not because you have to declare gifting to the tax man if you earn enough money and if you are deducting money from tax then it is actually giving you a loss at the end of the day but yeah I guess I have done work for brands that I would hope they would collab with me in the future because I love the brands that I work with and obviously the more followers I have the more likely it will be that they eventually pay me and ask me to do campaigns and whatever so yes I have how much money worth of free stuff would you say you get sent each month from brands <laughs> It is so inconsistent. Like one month I could get £50 worth of clothes, which is like seven items. And the next month I could get sent a £75 dress. There's no average for each month. Like it's so different. But I do get sent quite a lot of stuff, which I am very, very grateful for. And it all does get used. Like I have friends and family that love coming around my house because I just give them loads of free stuff because I'm only one person. I have a sister and she loves the clothes that we get sent, but I'm only one person. I can only use so many products and I can only wear so many clothes. Is there a rough guide to what you should be charging brands for creating content? This one is really tricky. It really depends what what the brand wants, what your engagement is, how many followers you have. So let's go back to the example of 1,000 followers. So if they are asking you to create a grid post, it should be roughly 10 to 20% of your followers. So let's say you charge 200 pounds for this grid post and they're also asking you for five stories in return. Stories should be about 5% of your followers. So what, 50 pounds each? So that is, I can't remember what I said. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So you're earning 450 pounds for five stories and one grid post for 1,000 followers. Obviously, everyone's rates are different. What you should do if a brand gets in contact with you and asks you to send your rates, ask them for a budget because you could say that you want 250 pounds for one post and they could come back to you and say that they have 700 pounds per post. So you should always ask first what the brand's budget is because you might be selling yourself short without you even knowing. How do you approach asking brands for payment? Like email wise, basically, if you've already got a relationship with them, it's a lot easier. I think what brands like are statistics and analysis of obviously how their stuff has performed with you before. So if you say, oh yeah, I have had 40% engagement and I had this many swipe up links from your thing, would you be able to have the budget for me to promote one of your dresses? I worded that really, really bad. How do you approach asking brands for payment? Um, it's really different for every brand. Like some brands will get in contact with you and say they have a certain budget that they can use for you and this campaign. It's really, really difficult because obviously it is not easy creating content. It takes a long time. And if this was a normal job, I would be getting paid per hour. So you need to think how long you're going to spend creating this content and then work out with that because a lot of time brands just gift you stuff which they think is okay but like I said gifting does not pay my bills so your best bet is always to ask for a budget and the worst they can do is say no and just carry on with the gifting. At the end of the day if it's a product you really really like it won't matter if it's just gifting or on a paid basis. Do you feel like being an Instagrammer has affected your love life and relationship? What love life? <laughs> It has definitely had an effect on my friendships. Like I've lost some of my closest friends by posting some stuff that they weren't happy with, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. <laughs>
It is what it is. It is what it is. How do you decide who you want to follow back? I only follow girls that I like their content and I like the stuff that they post. I follow brands as well, so I think this account is just business only. So I think what accounts will help me in the future and what accounts do I enjoy seeing their content? Who to know to say yes to, like companies to try that reach out. Basically, it's quite easy to tell which brands are just fake and which brands are actually real. For example, like New Look has a little tick on their name, but then also like their there's these random brands that comment and they're like DM us to work with us if you wanted me to work with you you would DM me so you need to think are these brands real or are they just spam I think the more that I've been doing it the easier it's been to spot because at the beginning I was like oh my god there's so many brands that want to work with me but then in reality they offer you a 50% off code and you've got to pay six pounds for delivery so that is not a good deal who's in my block quite a lot of people I'm not gonna lie I just have random men in my block and people that just want to cause unnecessary ag have you ever followed slash unfollowed I guess this means like you follow 500 people then you unfollow them in like two weeks and no I've never done that how many followers did you have when you were approached to do ads I think I must have had around like 4,000 and that grew to 10,000 by the end of the collaboration so it really does depend on the brand and what they want from you and if you hit their target market how much do you earn per post like I said in the previous video I don't earn money per post like I said in the other video I don't earn money per post that I do but I do earn, I earn money through swipe up links so it really depends on if you guys like the product if it's in stock or if there's something that I can actually link because sometimes it'll be zero and then other days it will be 200 pounds on this specific dress that everyone loves so the final one is do you feel pressured to create content yes definitely because now that I have this platform I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me to uphold this standard of this person that I've created online but that is not the case I'm still Chloe it is very very hard to create content when you're not in the mood like I said but yeah it is such a fun job I absolutely love creating content I love engaging with you guys and having our little community so yeah I wouldn't change it for the world oh that was a long video so I hope you enjoyed both of these videos. If you do have any more specific questions, then head over to my Instagram. I am always open about what I get paid and what I charge if I'm allowed to, because obviously there's contracts and stuff. But if you have any specific questions, head over to my Instagram and I will answer them for you. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I hope it opened your eyes up to the influencer world a little bit. It is not easy having a space on social media online, but it is very fun and very rewarding if you do it the right way so yeah I'm going to leave it on that note so if you enjoyed I really appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe and like I said if you have any questions head over to my Instagram and give me a DM and I will chat to you over there see you in the next one bye